Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I am Vi and today we're going to be diving into the blessings that you will receive within the next 37 days, okay? This idea, this, this, this pick a card came to me okay <laughs> and that number 37 came to me and 37 reduced is a 10 so if you just ended something if you just completed something horrible I think I feel like the collective has completed a, a cycle in their lives okay some sort of cycle some sort of pattern that has been holding them back and because of that there's this beautiful blessing that is about to come in the next 37 days okay uh it can come before that but it's like within the next 30, 37 days or on that 37th day you will receive this blessing that we're going to be diving into today i hope you're prepared i hope that you're ready so what i need for you to do is get calm get relaxed get into a nice vibe that way you can be guided by your intuition when choosing between the three options that i have before you today okay so when you're calm take a look at your options we have this um dice for pile number one Pile number two, we have this dice. And for pile number three, we have this dice. So once you feel like you know which one is calling out to you, what I need for you guys to do is click on that description box down below and then click on the timestamp for whichever one you feel the most called to and I will see you at your pile selection. Remember to support my channel guys by liking, commenting, subscribing and all of that good stuff. There's also more content links down below in the description box so I appreciate if you check those out as well. Let's go ahead and get started with group number one hello pile number one thank you so much for being here um let's go ahead and get started with your reading remember to only take what resonates for you and leave the rest behind and and, and i'm so sorry about the sound guys if it's like if you hear background noise or if it's hard to hear me i literally got a new case for my phone and it doesn't fit for my mic so <laughs> it doesn't allow my mic so it kind of is what it is right now um but let's go ahead and get started with the reading first i'm gonna pull some tarot cards um and we'll talk a little bit about this uh dice that you chose so you chose uh the sun so your future within these next 37 days uh looks pretty great okay it looks pretty decent if you ask me all right i feel like there's this healing happening there's this creativity there's this regeneration happening i feel like you guys are really stepping into your most authentic self you could be focusing more on your physical appearance you could be focusing more on your self-awareness um but you're very like in tune with the self in tune with um just who you are on a core level and healing that version of yourself maybe for some of you guys all right we have the page of wands yeah i feel like you're so creative man so creative you're like really trying to express yourself in many different ways and outlets and that's working out for you as well let's see what else we have yeah so this beautiful manifestation this new opportunity that's coming your way let's dive a little bit deeper I'm trying to see what else i'm getting for you guys the sun the sun is ruled by leo your i will energy right so it's like I feel like you're not allowing anything to stop you. Oh, wow. So this opportunity coming your way could definitely be like a romantic offer or a business opportunity that's presented by somebody else with this two of cups. Um, it's like two. I just heard two energies coming together. So there's two energies that's coming together here for pawn number one. So you could be meeting someone that wants to maybe fund your business um someone who wants to help boost you in your career or your creative endeavors in some way someone who inspires you is also what i'm getting you can be meeting someone who really inspires you to just kind of dive deep because i feel like you you're inspired by them right you look at them and you're like wow they're so amazing and i wish that i was like this da, 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 da. but it's just like they have that same quality that you have within yourself that's why you resonate with their energy so they're going to show you that and help you to kind of like bring bring your own self out a little bit more so that's really beautiful they could be a leo they don't have to be let's see 
ace of cups okay so it's kind of very much so giving like romantic energy and if it's not about like romance energy this could definitely be just you and yourself right um you're literally because this could just be you finding yourself we have the king of cups at the back of that they could be a pisces cancer scorpio you could be a pisces cancer scorpio or a leo um but yeah i feel like this could most certainly be like you finding yourself <laughs> Within these next 37 days, file number one, I feel like you're finding yourself. You're finding, figuring out who you truly are. And that's what I mean by finding yourself. Like you're figuring out who you truly are. You're embracing who you are as well. And you're learning how to just be more of you, be more authentic. I feel like you're finding this um, sense of confidence. You're feeling strong. You're feeling like, you know, you have your own uniqueness that you bring to the world and you're ready to like, explore that and let that be seen you're also finding this inner drive right where you're just feeling uh really motivated to get things done as well but for others if this is about a romantic relationship spirit let's see let's see what spirit is saying about this if this is a romantic situation going on hold on to me because i feel like that's crooked <laughs> It's so hard to get it straight and the OCD is acting up. Okay. Um, <laughs> Rom yeah. Okay. So if this is a romantic connection, okay, this is you meeting a new partner. Okay. Masculine energy heavy in this reading with this King of Cups at the back of the deck. If this is about you meeting a partner, right? I feel like this person has so much like, ooh, they have very intense energy. They're very like, uh, very, um, <sighs> very spicy but like in a good way like it's not like that's the main focus but they just have such a a charismatic energy that kind of really just draws you in and and like kind of captures your focus and if this is not you meeting someone like this then this is you the energy that you're tapping into okay within these next 37 days interesting let's dive a little bit deeper so we have here peace and harmony we also have July here. You could be born in July or this could be dealing with someone who's born in July. And then we also have money path. A path with money is waiting for you to find it. Interesting. So I feel like in regards to relationships and connections, pound number one people are really going to be um, seeing that there is more harmony, seeing that there is more balance in their relationships and connections, okay? Relationships in your life that has been chaotic are coming into balance. So that's one of the beautiful blessings that's coming your way. Also, you're going to be feeling this need to like co collaborate, work with others. Like you'll, you'll be feeling um, like you are able to collaborate and work with others and it be a harmonious experience okay um but i feel like the uh, one key note here is to always make sure in your life in all the areas in in your life you are receiving an equal give and take as much as you are giving is as much as you are receiving there's some sort of equal give and take here okay um I feel like the beautiful thing and blessing as well is you guys are going to be focused on expressing um, your abundant creative energy. Okay, I feel like this money path here is really talking about you guys express because you guys you guys are expressing yourselves more embracing your inner authenticity and finding yourself more you're also finding this money path because the more authentic you are the more you are able to manifest things that are more are more in alignment with you so you are going to be finding this new way of making money um and i feel like it's all through your inspiration what lights you up what you what you want to express to the world think about that now what you want to express to the world because i feel like whatever it is i feel like it will make you it will be very profitable profitable for you okay also i feel like you guys are going to really be seeking out an outlet for your artistic expression okay or being encouraged to seek out an outlet for your creative or art artistic expression so just do that i feel like again it would be very beneficial and then we have this july here right okay i'm going back to the july july uh, july is cancer right that's cancer energy cancer energy is i feel so a lot of emotions i feel like are going to be coming up within these next 37 days and i feel like what you guys are going but i feel like this 
July here is also about like really following your intuition, trusting your intuitive guidance when it comes to your creativity and that being the thing that leads you to your money path, okay? That being the things that leads you to following your intuition, being the thing that leads you to your peace and harmony in your life, okay? All right, and we have here inspiration and harmony. Harmony again, harmony twice, okay? Harmony twice, and this one is a heart. So it, it, relationship, guys, are you looking for a new relationship, pile number one, people? Because <laughs> I feel like it would be beneficial or I feel like there is some sort of romantic connection that's coming your way. Like it's, and it's going, I feel like this person will maybe like i feel like if it's not you then this person has a creative job or like an unconventional job and it makes them a lot of money and they and i, I think that's just something that's just gonna inspire inspire you so freaking much because you're like wow you're making money doing that like maybe i should try it like maybe there's something within me that needs to be expressing my creativity more i feel like this is something you guys are going to be tapping into within these next 37 days okay but that is what I have for you guys, pile number one. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, comment, share, subscribe, and all of that good stuff. Please come back to see me as well. And I'm gonna head and move on. I'm gonna head. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to pile number two. Hello and welcome, pile number two people. I am so blessed to have you here. Um, so yeah, we're gonna be diving into your next 37 days. And if the sound is a little bit weird or if you hear anything in the background, my apologies literally got a new case for my phone and apparently it does not fit my microphone into it isn't that wonderful <laughs> um yeah let's go ahead and dive into your reading again remember to only take what resonates we're gonna start with the tarot and i'm gonna talk to you a little bit about the dice that you chose which was this one right here and it's gemini energy you could be a gemini you don't have to be or this could be dealing what we come up what comes up maybe dealing with the gemini in your life it doesn't have to be um but i feel like with this gemini energy i feel like there's something here. this is this is this is you you could be using your gifts when it comes to um communication like you could be communicating you could start a podcast is what i just got uh, a podcast you could be writing or doing something intellectually within these next 37 days that is very beneficial for you uh for some that just came through i was not expecting that <laughs> um you could be you know writing reading um a lot more or yes like i said starting a podcast hmm. but you're but also it's like i think that you're very you're very into your head like you're thinking a lot there's a lot of thoughts okay there's a lot of thoughts i feel like there's also a lot of maybe teaching and learning that's happening as well within these next 37 days all right let's let's go ahead and see what's going on in regards to this blessing uh oh cards are flying give me a second and my dice rolled somewhere oh my god i gotta find i'll find it later <laughs> all right let's see what we have oh three of swords how interesting if you listen to the intro wow 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 hold on but if you listen to the intro i said that you guys are leveling up okay because 37 it, it drops down to a 10 right so you're leveling up you're embracing yourself you're releasing the old okay you're shedding something and then i'm looking at this three of swords and i see a whole person in her hair that she's shedding and I don't think it's meant for me to look at it that way, but I'm seeing that you're shedding. You could be a shedding a person. You could be letting go and releasing a person. But this could be, I feel like this is mainly you. You're shedding an old version of yourself, pound number two. This is a deep, deep cleansing within the mind, body, soul, and spirit that's happening for you within these next 37 days. And it's much so needed. And, and I feel like you're going to appreciate it, my love. I really do. You're going to appreciate this shedding. Okay, I don't, I, I feel like it may not be easy, but it's something that's so needed to where once it's done, once this cycle is ended, once this cycle has completed, once you receive this cleansing, once you let go of what was, that was um, deterring you from honoring yourself and honoring your destiny, 
I see that it's going to feel so good. Life's going to feel so good. You're going to feel much lighter, much brighter. Like life just feels less heavy. We have the 10 of diamonds. Like you're going to feel so abundant. You don't even like, I, I don't think you can understand or comprehend the, the, um, I don't think you can measure the blessing or the blessed energy that you're going to feel. If that makes sense five of cups here as well yeah like this is about this energy within yourself where you are feeling like very defeated where you're feeling just heartbroken grieving grieving all of the the past pains and past hurts okay especially in regards to like relationship connection family and family situations and things like that but look at that the ten of cups at the back of the deck it's like you're going to feel that emotional fulfillment you will you can have it all pile number two you can have it all you can have what you desire and i this this could maybe go into my own personal business but it's like i've i've met so many people in my life that just tells me that maybe you know i'm a pisces so i feel like maybe it's the the name of the game when it comes to being a pisces but i've met so many people in my life that have told me what i can't do how i'm uh, i'm not realistic or you know um what my dreams are, are are not realistic and i can't accomplish that i can't can't do this and that's just a reflection of how they feel within themselves and i do not let their reflections define me and who i am so pile number two don't let other people's reflections define who you are and don't don't because i feel like maybe you pick that up you know in childhood or in the past some way shape or form and again this is what you're shedding but it's like you can't allow those negative thoughts you can't allow anything you get you are the only person in your life pound number two that gets to define who you are and who you will be so it is up to you to determine what that is who you'll be what you are what you stand for what you will accept what you won't accept what you want your life to be like it's all you and your choice and i'm seeing that within these next 37 days it's like you come to that understanding and you have this massive shift and because of this massive shift and change internally you are um allowing yourself to see your to see your life in a different way and you're experiencing life in a much more abundant way okay all right yes <laughs> let's get some more cards <sighs> all right what we got for you we have use your intuition to make beneficial make beneficial changes unicorn i feel like you're recognizing that you are the unicorn you're not like anybody else pile number two so you can't define yourself in this with the within the same structures as everybody else like you can't you can't compare yourself to anybody else like you you're, you're just you're very unique and your intuition will be telling you that we have i psychic ability trust your intuition yeah and again and i say your intuition will be telling you that you're unique and then this i is right up on the ten of the ten of pentacles right so it's like yes your intuition will be showing you you're 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 getting this beautiful activation where it's like you're being shown how abundant you are you being shown how amazing you are i don't know why i'm hearing you're finally taking the bait or you're finally it's like it's just like you're finally it's like <sighs> <laughs> which is such a weird the way that they're explaining it is such a weird way to explain it <laughs> unique just like you whereas like you know you're a fish and you're just like fishing around fishing around searching for food or whatever and then you see this uh you see the food this just you see a food option right in the water and you're literally in your head about it three of swords five of cups you're in your head about it you don't take the bait like you don't take the bait it's it's here this abundant energy is here to give to you to give you everything that you wanted and desired for a very long time but you're just like ah it's too good to be true i've been swimming for hours <laughs> i've been swimming for hours and i finally come across food with no other competition yeah this couldn't really be this this has to be a trap but i feel like what's happening for you guys is that you're you're finally taking the bait you're 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 going for it and you're no longer holding yourself back we have january capricorn energy here could be, you could be a capricorn you don't have to be um i'm getting a lot of like uh but but i mentioned the fish you could be a pisces okay pisces gemini it, it, capricorn it don't matter you know who you are <laughs> 
But with this Capricorn energy here, though, Capricorn energy is, you know, also about taps into we control, right? We control is about it is about being ambitious, ambitious, Jesus, and disciplined, right? Um, because I do believe Capricorn is ruled by Saturn, if I'm not mistaken. So being more disciplined with yourself. Um, yeah, that it, it is ruled by Saturn. So being more dis dis disciplined with yourself, and I feel like especially in your way of thinking is is another beautiful blessing that's coming through for you guys and this ambitious energy maybe you didn't feel very ambitious before or maybe because you felt like you know what's the point of trying but i see that that's turning around for you guys next we have infinity and this is tapping into the energy of you guys recognizing that and limit you have limitless possibilities of what your life can be you guys recognizing that you you get to determine what your life is and who you are okay next we have 10 10 faith and this is a, again ending 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 okay ending 10 10 is also about ending the ending of a overcoming obstacles the ending of a tough cycle okay having faith you know i feel like that was something that you guys struggled with for a very long time keeping the faith when it comes to um believing in yourself and believing what you can do okay so you guys are tapping into infinite energy pound number uh two people that's something that you need to know in regards to this blessing you guys are activating your power your inner willpower is being activated to where you feel like there's nothing you can't do and you guys are going through this intense shift where I feel like you're jumping timelines okay because you're leaving behind that past timeline that really just only allowed you to be in a box you're stepping outside of your comfort zone within these next 37 days and it's going to allow for you to see how limitless you truly are so that's what i got for you guys power number two people i truly hope that you enjoyed it i truly hope that it has helped you in some way shape or form and i'm gonna move on to group number three please don't forget to support my channel by liking commenting subscribing and all of that good stuff and I hope that you come back to see me next time. I am out. Peace. Hello, my beautiful pal number three people. I appreciate you so much for being here. Um, remember to only take what resonates and leave the rest behind. And oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, guys, if you can hear any outside noise or if the sound quality isn't the best. Um, I literally got a new case for my phone after getting a new phone and it does not fit my microphone. So, yeah. We're just going to go ahead and push forward and dive into your reading. Now, I'm going to be shuffling. Um, oh, wow. Okay, I feel like this needs to be here. We have judgment that came out. I was going to say I was going to be shuffling, and then we're going to talk about the <laughs> the Libra uh, dice that you chose. But, yeah. So, we have a judgment card here, and I'll dive into that in just a second. But I'm just going to talk about the Libra really quickly. So, you could be a Libra. You don't have to be. Or we could be talking about a Libra in your life, okay? Because tarot works out that way sometimes. Um, but I feel like with the Libra energy, which is connected to Venus... I feel like you guys are, you guys are those aesthetically pleasing people. Or if you don't feel that way, I do feel like within these next 37 days, I feel like you're going to be learning more about your aesthetic. Like, I feel like you'll be, you'll, you'll be more interested in kind of being more mm, artistic, okay? Being more extroverted and like, and, and like, you know, I feel like a little, why am I shaking my shoulders? <laughs> I'm literally like shaking my shoulders. Like it's giving, it's giving like flirtatious. It's giving, it's giving that type of energy. I don't know. That's so weird. <laughs> All right, let's, 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 let's keep going. Um, but with judgment here, I feel like, again, there's this reshape happening of the way that you see yourself or the way that you are. I feel like with the judgment card, I feel like you're you're going to be feeling called towards a lot of different things and avenues. But I feel like you're shedding maybe um, any judgments that you placed upon yourself that were holding you back from really being your true authentic self. Um, you're, yeah, any judgments. Fears is also what I'm getting is being released. I'm hearing like justice and karma, which ties into that uh, Libra energy. Now I'm hearing good karma. I don't, 
I don't. So I'm getting okay. The spirit. Sorry, guys. The um spirits are talking. Okay, so there was this judgment. So like I've, I heard, like someone um <clears throat> judged you or placed judgment upon you. Like it could have been recently. It doesn't have to be. But this has happened in life at some point where people were very judgmental of you and how you look and how you are and judgment of your aesthetic and trying to make you be how they want you to be and you know trying to shape you into what they like instead of who you actually are and i feel like you guys are releasing those judgments especially maybe in regards to relationships you guys um experience that of course because we said people right <laughs> duh sorry about that <laughs> all right let's see what else spirit Blessing. yeah i feel like your eyes are open within these next 37 days when it comes to the people around you like you're seeing everybody for who they truly are as well as yourself and that may cause you to leave some people behind but that's okay nine of cups yeah oh i love this i love this because instead of being focused on other people's judgments within these next um 37 days you're more so focused on what you want, what you desire, and manifesting that instead. Like, you're no longer worrying about other people's opinions. You're like, eh, <laughs> I'd rather just worry about myself, okay? I focus, I'd rather focus on myself. We have the Eight of Wands here. Yeah, you're like, I'd rather focus on myself. I'd rather focus on um, taking action towards what it is that I want. Yeah, because in the past, you felt very defeated with this Five of Swords energy. In the past, you felt very defeated. Like, you just couldn't... It's just like you kept missing the mark in some way, shape, or form. You At least that's the way you felt. You felt like, I keep missing the mark everywhere I turn, all the time. Um, I keep missing the mark. And I, I'm ready for this change. I'm ready for something different, something better. But I keep struggling or I keep going back to this same place that I don't want to be in. And I feel like the beautiful thing in this blessing here is that you're finally going to be releasing this um energy that was holding you back okay and i feel like it's most definitely could be this inner like you, you could have been feeling indecisive i feel like it's about you guys i feel like you guys were not trusting yourself i feel like maybe it's somewhere somewhere in your life you like kind of fell down or you made a mistake or you did something wrong and after that you just never trusted yourself the same why am i about to get emotional <laughs> whoa bringing it in um yeah you never trusted yourself the same and i'm getting here that within the next 37 days you're coming to this realization and you're finally i feel like releasing that and allowing yourself to is this reconnect happening within you like you feel like you can trust yourself again you feel like you know what you're doing you feel confident within yourself there's this confidence that's coming back to you within these next um 37 days okay mm -hmm. yeah i feel like you'll be reevaluating what you, what it is that you actually value you're you're stepping into a new attitude okay and i feel like you'll be showing more love to yourself as well as love to others because i feel like there's this grace that you'll be giving yourself because yeah you may have made mistakes in the past but you realize that it just made you a better person or it changed you for the positive in some way shape or form or that those mistakes were useful because it it allowed you to learn okay mm. interesting <laughs> let's go ahead and move on we have victory in some endeavor right on top of the judgment card and we have dagger fear worries 10 situations and we have you will be playing a different role with the eight of wands interesting yeah i feel like okay can we start here with the nine of cups and the dagger on top of it you feared you had worry that you couldn't get what you want that you would never get what you want that you wouldn't get um 
what it is that is fulfillment for you or your wish wouldn't be fulfilled you had fear about that anxiety about that anxiety about what it is that you could even manifest for yourself um because i feel like i feel like uh, a lot of people in pile number three just kind of kind of thought that that nothing ever really works out for you for some reason I, it's giving that energy like nothing ever worked out because that that was just fear talking right and I feel like the victory in some endeavor is is you releasing this judgment that you've placed upon yourself. You releasing this narrative, this character that you've um you've kind of like manifested for yourself to be. You're releasing that character. And again, we have over here, you'll be playing a different role. Now you're changing the 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 uh story that this character of the character that you created now this character is able to receive more than enough now this cable this character is limitless now this character has everything they could possibly want need and desire that's what i see in regards to this blessing within the next 37 days you playing a different role you telling a different story you overcoming your fears worries and anxiety and you manifesting your own I want to say desires, but they're, I'm, I want to say desires because I'm getting desires, but I'm also getting like you manifesting your own happiness, your own contentment. Like it's, you're manifesting a lot for yourself after you come to this realization. So next we have authenticity. And then we also have action. Okay. So I want to say here because they're giving me this energy to say it, which is this is not like, I feel like you have to take action towards this. Um, you have to take action towards this um, blessing, pile number three, to where it's you changing your mindset. It's you changing your mindset and you taking positive action, inspired action in your life, okay? Because I don't, don't think that this is going to be something that's handed to you because I feel like you guys have to overcome the fear, worry, anxiety. You have to be willing to overcome this five of swords energy first in order to... Um, successfully manifest and take action towards your desired goals okay now with that being said authenticity here i see that you guys are really like i said this is you guys stepping even more into who you are right and we talked about that you stepping more into who you are you expressing yourself you're you are i feel like you will be encouraged and are being encouraged now to seek that which feeds you and take action upon it. So if you find something that actually feeds your energy, feeds your soul, something that feels good, something that feels good on all levels, mind, body, soul, spirit, it just feels good on all levels. Feed your soul with that. Take action upon it. Go after it. Okay? That's what this Eight of Wands is saying. Take action towards building a different character for yourself. Take action towards build, building a different story for yourself. I see that the blessing is, is most certainly you guys leaving behind any doubts in regards to your abilities of what you can and can't do. Leaving behind um, any distrust or insecurity you have within yourself. Prioritizing who you are, your authenticity. Prioritizing your inner truth. And yeah, that's what I'm seeing for you guys, pile number three people. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a big fat like, comment down below, and subscribe to join the fam. I would love to have you. Make sure when you subscribe, you hit that bell so you can be notified whenever I upload a video. And also check out my Instagram, TikTok, and all of that other stuff down below. I hope that you come back to see me again next time. I am out. Peace.